Hello Python developer, in this video I will tell you how to develop a snack game using Python. So guys, let's start coding. So guys, before you start coding, uh, remember we need to need two modules to install. The one is Turtle. You know Turtle is a very popular graphics module of Python. So we need to inst uh, install this and use our, in our script. And the other one is a random module. So these two module need to install before running this script or you are start developing this. So guys, so let's start coding. So first we will import our title module that is already installed. The next one we will import random. Now we have imported both title and random modules. Actually, these are already installed. So guys, remember you need to install these before developing this snake game now we will uh, set our uh, game screen like uh, window screen so like uh, what the size of our window like width and height so here we window width we initialize a variable and assign value like 600 same way We need slide variable window height and give value 600. So it's the screen size will be 6 by 6. And uh, we can also uh, in a slide variable file like full size and delay. So uh, these uh, we will in a slide after that. So these uh, two like window weight and window height. So we can also in a slide. Uh, a screen like here a screen so we will initialize variable a screen and we will actually this uh, object of a screen class like from, from title so here we will use title dot screen And this will be a object of a screen. So now we will set a screen width. We can set a screen width. So here is like setup. So here is screen. We will call setup method and set width and height of a screen. So here is our variable window width and also window height so here we have called our both method both variable window width and window height so these are both our variable so here we have uh, set the screen size now we will title the screen name like screen dot title and this is like a snack game and we can also set the background color of a screen bg color and can set this is blue we can also set the screen setup or screen tracer so we can like screen tracer zero so these are the screen setup like window setup if we run this program then we have a screen and it's gone away. Now we will move to draw pen like to drawing our game. So we set we slash variable pen and using title 
टाइटल क्लास वी हैव अ पेन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड नाउ वी विल सेट पेन डॉट पॉप अप सेम वे वी कैन वी कैन इन स्लाइज वैल्यूज फॉर फूड फूड मीन्स इन अ गेम वेन इन स्नैक get the target so that's the food so we have in slice food variable and using title we have a food object and we can give food like uh, some circle so we have a shape circle and the color of the circle will be red been slice as red and the shape size will be is uh, we can say 20 like uh, food we can uh, define a variable here like uh, food size food size equal 20 so we have here food size so we can take this food size and so here is our uh, shape size shape size of food and then we have a food dot Pen up. So now we have our screen configuration, pen and food. So is the initial configuration of our snack game. Now we will move to initialize our snack game functionality. So we will create a function initialize def initialize. and then we have a global variables like a snack a snack direction food position and pen so these are our global variables and now we have a snack so we will give an value of an array so these will be like 0,0 and 0 to 20 and 0 to 40 0 to 50 and 0 to 60 now snake direction we have a variable snake direction and we give it a up this next direction is up, up so it will be always going to up so uh, by default is up and when we uh, move it like left right down so it will be and then a foot position we, we will define foot position we will get food position using our function so we uh, will create for this function to get the food position 
and then it will go to the fourth position like so like we can define a function like then we will Im Im implement it later like random get random food position something and then uh, the position will be returned and the food dot go to and it will go to where it will go to food position we will uh, implement this function later and then it will move move where move move to snack I mean it's move snack so snack will be move so this is our initial configuration for our snack game so we have uh, call get random food position and then go to food position and then move to snack and now we have functions that we have uh, implemented so first we, we will see the get random food position actually get random uh, food position uh, we get the random food position using window width uh, window height and push size and it will return coordinate like x y so the position will be here food position and then uh, go to function have a food position then we call move snack the move snack function we call uh, then uh, we implement mode uh, move snack function here we have defined variable global snack direction here we'll get the snack head next position for our snack head and then uh, checking self collision of snack and then initialize if there is a collision we will reinitialize the setup again then we will uh, if there is no self collision we continue moving the snack like checking food collision again and the screen is uh, uh, wrapping like allowing screen wrapping then clear previous uh, here we are uh, pen dot clear stance we are clearing previous snack stamps then we draw a snack here and then refresh screen like update calling update uh, function of a screen to refresh the screen and then read and re repeat means uh, moving snack again uh, with delay after that uh, there is a uh, you, ha you have seen there is a function called food collision so it's uh, handling food collision like uh, getting distance and and get random food position and then it's return true or false and then we have a function like uh, move snack we have already seen and there is a food collision and get random position and there is another function that is called get distance is returning the distance means position is returning the position and the other one is uh, the, the final moving uh, our snack to the up down right and left so we have a function like uh, def go up that's handling if snack direction not down then it's up we have handling the get down go down if snack direction is not up then it's down same way handling uh, uh, implementing function def go right in this we are checking if snack direction not left then snack direction will be right same way if snack direction is not right then snack direction will be left so it's a go left so these functions are uh, go up go down and go right and go left so these are the four functions that is uh, handling snacks moving uh, directions so uh, finally here is our event hand handler like screen or listen and then we have a screen on key uh, there is a go up for handling up if there is a event right then go right and if screen down then uh, calling uh, function go down on key and screen dot on key we are calling go left when uh, there is a event left so these uh, four events uh, are hand hand handled then we are initialize here for method hour and then here is title dot done so here, this is a complete code of our snack game with python so uh, we will go to start to uh, check the script again so here we have imported 
uh, our module title and random. Then we have in this slide our window base 600, window high 600, the push size 20 and delay uh, 100 millisecond. Then the screen size is here we are uh, defining our screen like window height, window base, uh, the title of the screen, VZ color, setup, tracer, and then we have a pen like a square we have we have taken here here is square pen and then pen pop up a uh, pin up and then we have a food configuration like circle uh, food shape is circle uh, color is red and shape size and pin up it's the same way here is uh, taking the direction of our window like up direction like 0 to 20 0 to minus 20 for down and for left to minus 20 to 0 and for right 20 to 0 then we are we are initializing here method to our initialize method for snag game like global variables then snacks values uh, coordinate values then snack direction default by up and then calling get random position food dot go food position move snack here is our move snack method handling snack moving and then we have a method uh, food collision in which handling food collision and then get random food position getting food random position and here your distance getting distance and then we have a method go up go right and go down and go left so and uh, finally here is event handlers and here we are initializing our main function and then title dot done so this is a complete code of our snake game so now we'll uh, run our program snake game so it's uh, running so now this is our uh, snag game so we can run this using a keys like left right up down keys so we can use this here and play like this so this is our complete snack game so guys uh, in this uh, uh, snack game we have not handled the scoring it is so you can actually it's a base a base level program uh, to develop a snack game you can enhance this at your end to uh, add a score add points so guys hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and it's very interesting and very uh, useful so guys don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe our channel thank you